Thanks for checking out the show review video. This is for the 2020 show slash miniseries uh, coming to Shudder on Thursday, April 2nd, Cursed Films. Uh, so I, I don't know that there's been like a ton of press out there about it at this point. I'm, you know, reviewing this much earlier. I'm not dropping this until the embargo is lifted on it on March 26th. So um, I don't know in that amount of time, like how much hype has come up uh, uh, about come out about it it originally was supposed to show at south by southwest but since south by southwest southwest got canceled i got lucky and i was then able to get screeners for this so thank you shutter for hooking me up with that now i was only provided with the first two episodes of it and those were uh dealing with uh poltergeist and the omen um but I'm going to say right off the bat, I highly recommend this. When this show hits on April 2nd, I would definitely jump into it, especially if you're someone who loves documentaries about horror films. And this one's a little bit different. It's it's interesting, but I'm going to talk about it. But this isn't going to be a super long video because, like I said, it's only the first two episodes that I've seen at this point when I'm doing this review. And I do plan to watch the rest, though. And also, I'm I'm not doing spoilers because it's brand new, and I don't do spoilers on brand new stuff. I would just say watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Love it. Uh, so it's written and directed and edited by Jay Sheel or Sheel. Uh, he's done films Beauty Day and How to Build a Time Machine. Those are both documentary films. Uh, Beauty Day is about like some guy in I think Canada who's kind of like a guy who did things kind of like the show Jackass before Jackass was a thing. Um, I, I do have interest in that. And then the other, the one how to build a time machine is a documentary about some guys trying to build a time machine. So I find both of those kind of interesting subject matter wise. So I want to check it out. So first things first, the episodes of this are super digestible. Uh, one of them I think was like 26 minutes. The other one I think was 27 minutes. So, I mean, less than a half an hour. You don't have to invest a whole lot of time. They're edited very, very tightly, which I really appreciate. It never feels like it's dragging. So that's awesome. And that's probably part of the reason that they're shorter episodes because they did a great job on the editing. I cannot tell you how many times I see shows or movies or whatever where they don't edit it properly and it just drags. This show slash miniseries is not that case. They did a great job with the editing. Jay, Chiel, awesome. Uh, it has a fun and cinematically fun intro sequence that has some Giallo-like music to it, which I dig the Giallo music, so I really appreciate what they did with that intro. It looks visually cool, super, super cool, and the music just sends it over the top awesome for me. So I love that. There's a good mix of people being interviewed for this. They have some film executives, they have some directors, they have some horror writers, some film critics, um, a podcaster or two, and some other subject matter as experts based off what they're specifically talking about tied to that film. So they have some subject matter experts that they consult with for the Poltergeist one. They're different from ones that they consult with for the Omen one because they're talking about a few different ideas. Uh, and you'll see what I mean when you watch it. Um, yeah, it's good. The inner cutting of people being interviewed and segments of the actual films are done extremely, extremely well. It's the perfect mix of kind of jumping between the two, and it keeps it super engaging. So they'll have a many times where they're showing portions of the film while people are, you know, there's the audio track over it of the people being interviewed, and then they'll cut back and show the person. And it, the amount of uh, people being shown to the film being shown is perfect in my opinion. This goes back to what I was saying of it being edited very, very well. It's great. Uh, they talk about the stories that make people think the films are cursed, but also the human psychology that kind of goes into that. So I think they're going to do six. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's going to be six episodes total. So, the, so other ones I know that are going to be coming are The Crow, which is kind of, it's not horror, it's like horror adjacent, and uh, The Exorcist is another one. So these are all films that are rumored to have had cursed sets, or because the film was made, there was some sort of curse. And with the polter with Poltergeist, there were, you know, some people who ended up dying. With The Omen, there were some people who almost ended up dying. And it's very interesting because they go into the rumors, then they go into what actually happened, and then they go into the psychology behind 
why do people think this is cursed? But they do like a psychology of it, but they also look at it from the standpoint of do people think it's, you know, something supernatural that's going on or, you know. So they look at they look at both sides of things, and that keeps it very, very balanced and super interesting. And like I said, it's so short that like everything you watch is interesting and engaging. They don't they don't stretch it out. And yeah, well done. There's a very interesting talk in this about categorizing films, and there's a great point that is made about how it's no coincidence that the only films are con that are considered to be cursed are horror. And that goes to one of the things they kind of talk about with, you know, human psychology around a lot of this cursed film uh, rhetoric. Uh, why do we think this way? And that's what I found most interesting about these episodes is when they delve into the human psyche and they say, well, you know, people think this about a film, people think this about a film, and there's a reason for that, so let's delve into that. Let's explore why that is. And some of it just has to do with, you know, people misunderstood something. Sometimes it has to do with this is just human nature of how people think. And those things are crazy interesting to me. Um, I'm a nerd. I love those things. So if that sounds interesting to you, I definitely recommend this one. So uh, I did just have some vague notes about my feelings on the two episodes. The Poltergeist one seems, for the most part, very explainable. The Omen one seems crazy, though. <laughs> Um, little less explainable, but I will say I'm a science type person. I have no religion. I, I think, you know, just my personal opinion, I think religion for me personally is a waste of time. Um, cause I don't believe in anything. I know that's scary, right? It is scary. I will be honest because when I think about things like death, try having no, no religion or no thought about what death will be like or, or having an afterlife or anything. My concept of what happens when you die is what do you remember from before you were born? That's what death is like. You can't fathom that. It's scary. <laughs> it's scary. So for some reason, I wish I had religion when I, when I was growing up because I feel like it would make things a little more comfortable. But anyway, that's too much information on that, but I'm just try trying to tell you my perspective on how I approach watching things like this. So, And it's really good because I feel like they do a good job of delving into a bunch of aspects of things, but leaving it up to you to decide what your thoughts are based off your perspective. And so for that reason, it feels very respectful of the audience and the differences that different audience members are going to have. So really well done. I really enjoyed this. Um... It's not perfection, in my opinion, but it's really good. So as far as shows go, I'm, uh, with a five-star five star rating possible with half-stars in play, I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it a four-star rating. It's, it's quite good. Um, four stars is really good. I'm pretty, pretty brutal. Well, like I say, keep it brutal at the end. Uh, I keep, I'm pretty brutal with my ratings, and a four-star is really good. I highly recommend this. Definitely watch it. And like I said, it's not a big time commitment, so you really have no reason not to watch it. So Shudder, good job on grabbing this one. Uh, Jay Shield, you, excellent work. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone for checking this out. Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe for me. If you like anything that I do, including this video, that's your way to repay me, because I don't get paid or anything. I'm just doing this for fun. Put some comments down there. Are you excited for this one? And uh, if you're watching this after you've already seen some of the episodes, what are your thoughts on them? Let's talk about that. Give me a thumbs up if you want to. And also, if you're already subscribed, give me a thumbs up to let me know you're still watching. But thanks, everyone, for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.